Well, glory be and mercy me, we've done it yet again. Here we are on the walkabout around the graveyard, uh, still reporting on the uh, Flu Trucks clan, the uh, convoy, the Freedom Convoy, that is heading into Ottawa as it has developed. Uh, Conservative Party leadership has endorsed this convoy. Uh, Pierre Paul, oh, here I am going to pr- mispronounce this uh, uh, gentleman's name as always. Pierre Polyevra. Yeah, I did it. Pierre Polyevra, I did it. So, Pierre Polyevra standing up in Parliament uh, and defending the uh, convoy from the Nazi symbolism that has appeared with the statement. Uh, Justin Trudeau wore blackface. Does that mean all liberals are racist? Right? The classic individualizing your individualism. Uh, I, of course, am more or less of the opinion that if you are voting for Justin Trudeau, then yeah, you're probably a little bit racist. Frankly, yeah, you probably are. The dude walked around in blackface. Yeah, you probably are. But Pierre's argument is that it's completely fine to have Nazi uh, flags flying in your protest. Uh, that doesn't make everybody else racist, even though, yeah, it probably does. It probably does make everybody else. But all of this is a little bit beside the point, if you ask me, and shows you, yet again, the power structure's desire to deflect and uh, ignore class issues, right? That the issue that we are facing that no one seems willing to talk about. This is what's really funny about this whole thing to me, is that the express statement that has come out of the protest by the leadership, by the people, by everyone, is that they want to open back up, okay? No one is actually talking about whether or not we should be opening back up. Even the Conservative Party leadership has kind of turned this conversation into a vaccine mandate conversation, which is certainly part of the conversation, right? Should we be man- mandating vaccines? Yes, no, what do you think? Well, the, these truckers are saying, no, you shouldn't, and it looks like the Conservative Party is going to be pushing on that issue. But all of this is being done to ignore the simple statement, we should open back up. Because if we were to actually have a legitimate conversation, a serious conversation about what opening this economy back up would mean, it would mean that we would actually have to start having a conversation along class lines. And the powerful can't have that. That's why Justin Trudeau is so uh, insistent that we actually just focus on the far-right fringe elements that exist within the protest movement. That's why the whole conversation needs to be about hate symbols. That's why the whole conversation needs to be about race. That's why it needs to be about mandates, because it's ABC. Anything but class. We certainly can't have a conversation about the trillions of dollars that have been extracted from the populace during this period of time and uh, extracted into offshore accounts, right? We certainly can't have a conversation about how the billionaire class has made billions of dollars while regular Canadians have been plunged into poverty. We certainly can't have legitimate conversations about the seriousness of the wealth extraction pro- uh, project, right? No, we need to focus on some hate, s- hate speech and some hate symbols, right? That's what needs to be focused on 100%. The capitalist death cult is laughing to the bank on this one, guys, right? The convoy has more or less been effective, right? It should actually, in fact, be a lesson to leftists across the board about what the pitfalls of protest are. Maybe get ahead of your fringe elements that are certainly going to show up no matter what you do. Uh, Get ahead of the denunciation of those sorts of fringe elements. Uh, But also, it really just shows you uh, how much this has worked, right? What do I keep saying on this channel? We need to surround the halls of power. Well, here's a group of people who are doing just that. Look how effective it's been, 
right? They've galvanized support from a major political organization. That's the Conservative Party, the leaders of the opposition. They've got the Prime Minister of Canada actually speaking to them. They've got people actually talking to them. Uh, they, they are galvanizing the national conversation, right? And it has been effective. It is working. That is why I say that we should do it. Just like the Occupy movement. Just like all of these other things. Uh, the George Floyd protests. They are effective. They galvanize the national conversation. We should definitely be doing it. But when we do it, we need to make it explicitly about class. We need to have a conversation about why are there a wealthy group of owners who own the society, uh, who in turn are not even paying us enough to pay the rents that they have on offer, right? This is the ultimate failing of the Freedom Convoy movement. That if we were to actually talk about what their number one demand actually is, that number one demand being, hey, let's open everything up. Well, if we actually opened everything up, mass homelessness would spike because there's no jobs, because no one has any money to actually buy anything, and the wages that are on offer are not actually paying the rent, right? This is a conversation that the powerful do not want to have. They do not want to talk about the soaring housing prices. They do not want to talk about soaring rent prices. They do not want to talk about the fact that wages and inflation have been chewing away at wages. They do not want to have these conversations. They do not want to talk about it. What do they want to talk about? Oh, a couple of guys were flying some Nazi flags at a protest. That's what they want to talk about, right? Oh, they want to bring up Justin Trudeau's blackface again. That's what they want to talk about. They want to talk about A, B, C. Anything but class. All right, guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this particular video. If you've made it to this point, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, YouTube suppresses my content, uh, demonetizes leftist content across the board. Uh, basically, every leftist is now complaining about it and commenting on it, that subscriber counts have uh, uh, stagnated. Uh, their stuff is getting demonetized across the board. If we chase leftist voices, out of the conversation, or if leftist voices are not heard, then the only people who get seats at the table are the neoliberal capitalists who will continue to ignore the increasing cost of living, the uh, fact that the wage no longer pays the rent, the freefall collapse of the society because of a systemic decision to extract wealth from the populace and then abandon it. So we need leftists at the table, and the only way that that is going to happen is if you share it yourself. That's the only way it's actually going to happen. <sighs> Always remember, guys, you are a quantum being walking around in quantum energy. These billionaires are spending hundreds of billions of dollars to try to make sure you never realize it, because then they can turn you into a commodity. Revolt. Rebel. Repent. Good luck. We're gonna need it.